Hey there, I got another video for you. Um, I was out uh, four wheeling this past weekend and my winch stopped working, my worn winch. Um, it was very sad. I uh, couldn't winch out or in. I could winch the cable out under power, but I could no longer winch in. So um, I could hear the solenoids clicking. Um, I've got a worn 8000 uh, x8000i uh, it's about 16 years old i've rebuilt it once but um it uh, it died so i i had to take it off the car and try to figure out what's going on well searching around on the internet i couldn't find any way of determining how to check my solenoids uh, this is the solenoid pack here off the uh, top of the integrated uh, solenoid pack off the top of the winch um, I've got all the other wires stripped off of it, so you can see there's uh, four solenoids. One here, one here, one here, and one here. These heavy lugs uh, conduct the power from the battery to the winch motor. These small uh, terminals here energize the coil to close the contact between the two heavy lugs. Each of these uh, solenoids carries 100 amps, and they run in parallel uh, series, excuse me, to enable the winch to draw up to 200 amps. Now these coils are rated to uh, be energized, uh, closing the contact for up to 10 minutes at a time. It's called uh, intermediate heavy duty rating, not continuous duty. So you can't leave these things energized for uh, you know 15 or 20 minutes. Of course, you'd burn your winch motor up if you did that. Um, so I'm going to show you how to test them. Uh, there's a lot of confusion out on the internet about how to do that. Uh, I'm going to show you. It's going to be plain and simple. Won't take but a few minutes to do it and uh, you can verify exactly which ones you need to uh, replace. I know one of these is bad uh, because I couldn't winch in. Uh, I could winch out just fine. So I know two of them are good for the winch out and one or two of these are bad for winching in. So I'm going to show you exactly how to test it. I've got a multimeter here. You can see I've got it set to read ohms. It's got uh, infinite ohms right now. I'm going to close these two uh, test leads together. You should see zero or very low ohms. Now I've got 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, so that's a, a good conductor there. And what you would expect when you close this coil, uh, this the resistance between these two heavy lugs on each of these solenoids should be fairly, fairly low. You know, a couple of ohms uh, or, or less than an ohm. If you don't see, uh, if you see a reading like this, meaning uh, open, uh, that means you've got a bad solenoid. So I'm gonna, I've got a battery over here off, off screen you can't see. It's just a 12 volt car battery. Uh, it doesn't matter which of these leads you run as hot. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to clip one on this side and I'll show you what it sounds like when the coil energizes. You hear that? That is the coil closing. Uh, and supposedly when the coil closes, you should have continu continuity between these two uh, lugs. So I'm going to temporarily clip these clips on there just to keep the coil closed and right now you can see I've got open I've got uh, an open so I'm going to test these and I have 0 0.2 0 0.5 0 0.4 0 0.3 ohm so that's a good that's a good uh, solenoid I'm going to go to the next one like I said you should have very low ohms when you uh, close the coil on these things. All right, I'm on the next one here. I'm gonna clamp that down with this alligator clip to hold it in place. Come on, baby. All right, there's one clip. There again, you can hear, and you can see the sparks flying. When that coil closes, I'm gonna test the uh, ohms across the contacts. We've got 38, 67, you can see it's a 1.4 kilo ohms. There's a, you see that little, there's a little K down there. Um, so that's pretty high resistance. I wouldn't expect you to have 
uh, killa um. So I, I think this one is bad. So let's keep going down the row here and test them all. All right, I got that one on. I can hear that one closing. So let's check the resistance across this one. Again, that's showing zero. Let's put the things on there. 0.3 ohm. So this one's good. Very low resistance. 0.3. All right, now let's go to the next one. Last one in the series. Do, 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 do. Testing. Now look at that. I have absolutely no conduct conductivity between those two things. I've got um, millions of ohms here. So that means it's open. I can hear it closing, but I've got no no uh, no juice flowing between those two so this one's bad and this one's got really high amps so let's go back to that one this one here tested again I mean really high amps I mean really high resistance and again I've got well look at that it's even higher now 0.5 million ohms so that one's looks like it's dead too so, um, this one and this one are bad, need to be replaced. These two are good. These are probably the ones for spooling the cable out. So, these two are bad. I need to replace them. There is, uh, I ordered a couple of them today from CarQuest Auto Parts. Once I get it in, I will uh, put that information here in this video before I post it on YouTube so you'll know exactly what part number you could use to replace these guys. They're standard, uh, you can, they make them for boats, uh, boat starter engines use these. They have a stainless steel plate on the bottom. Um, but as long as they carry 100 amps, you should be good to go. So uh, I'll pick this up tomorrow when I get the new solenoids in. I'll show you how to test the new ones, make sure they're okay before you put it all back together. and. Uh, Hopefully my winch will work and I can go wheeling again.